<laughs> Here's something I quickly want to talk about just because I don't see enough of these gurus talking about it. It was a huge problem for me when I first got started. And it kind of pissed me off that like none of these guys talked about it. Like, yo, what the fuck? Um, you guys don't talk like tell people how to like send these contracts properly like you're just telling people like oh just send send the DocuSign it's no big deal just send the DocuSign right off the bat so I want to talk about how I make my offers how I lock deals up over the phone and, uh, COVID and everything uh, I've, I've closed you know four or five deals now and I am yet to go to an actual closing table where a deal is closed it's all been online and virtual and um, none of the deals that I closed were like paper contracts that like were actually signed with a pen. They were all online, email through like DocuSign or just printed it out and, and sign it. So this is the way of the future, guys. Like that whole going on appointment, bringing the contract with you, bringing your comps with you, and getting it getting it signed. That's uh that's so 2019. Here's how I do it. You get your offer accepted verbally. Get the email, okay? You're gonna get the email. You're gonna say, okay, I'm gonna write up the uh, purchase and sale agreement and I'm gonna give you a call right back. And I, I also want you guys, quick note, to refer to the contract or purchase and sale agreement as an agreement, not a contract. Uh, contract's kind of a scary word for, for some sellers. I mean, it's just kind of a, a small thing. So you get the email. You, you write up the purchase and sale agreement and you're going to compose an email. You're going to put the subject as the property address. Um, you're going to write uh, the seller's name. Uh, you're going to say attached as a purchase and sale agreement. You can write whatever else you want. Um, what's even better is to attach some comps. If you have prop stream, pull a comp report, obviously a, a beneficial comp report to you with low comps or as is comps. Um, show them that explain that to them how it works. Hey, these are some comps that have sold in your neighborhood They're similar in square footage and you're built and all that. Um, sometimes we'll even send them a uh, a Financial model with a spreadsheet of breaking down all the numbers you have your purchase and sale agreement you have your comp report and you have your financial model and the comps of the financial model obviously aren't necessary, but at least, you know, you're sending your offer with your purchase and sale agreement. You're going to call them and you're going to say, hey, Mr. Seller, how are you? Uh, are you actually near a computer right now? I just emailed you something. And if they say yes, they're near a computer or their phone or they can look at it, you will not hit that send button until they tell you they're near a computer. Do not send the contract unless you can be on the phone with them when they open it up and look at it. If they open it up and look at it uh, on their own and they see something they don't like or they're like, what the hell is this $10 earnest money deposit? Or they're like, what, what, what is this? Something's not right in the contract. Um, they could get pissed off about it and uh, be thinking about it for the next couple hours and within that time, make up their mind and make the decision that they actually hate you and don't want to sell the house to you. So if there's any issues, if there's any of that going through their minds, um, you want to be on the phone with them to explain it um, right then and there. You don't want that those couple hours to go by of them being pissed off about it. Um, and then you will just review it with them. Review the whole thing, top to bottom. Make sure everything's good. Make sure they understand the contract, okay? They're, if, if they're signing this, don't hide anything in the contract from them. Make sure they understand it. If they don't understand what earnest, earnest money deposit is, explain it. Okay? Make them feel warm and fuzzy and comfortable. You go over it with them. Uh, nine out of ten times, there's always some, at least one thing that has to be changed or they want something added or taken out. So that's why it's good to not just send a DocuSign right away. When I do it, I send a PDF, okay? In the email, it's a PDF. And you can just go back and change it real easily if you need to. Once it's all good, you send them the PDF, review it one last time with them. And then you say, okay, um, all right, you wanna do the deal? Okay, great, you understand all the terms? Okay, great. Um, so you can either print it out 
sign it and scan it and send it back to me or I can actually have my assistant send you a DocuSign electronic signature and you can just sign it right on the computer with one click, with one click of a button. If they want to do the DocuSign, then you send them the doc. They didn't even review all the terms yet and all that. Uh, you're wasting your time sending a DocuSign. Plus it might even scare an older seller uh, who doesn't understand electronic signature. But that that to me is like this this is fire, guy. This is stuff that no one's talking about. Uh, a lot of these gurus, yeah, send offers. Just just send them a DocuSign, and you haven't even reviewed the terms with them. Like some, I think some of you guys are even sending offers without even calling the seller and like reviewing the contract. Like, oh, you want two sixty? That's good. Two sixty is a deal. Perfect. I'm gonna send you the contract right now. Let me know when you get it. And then two days goes by, and you're like. Hey, uh, do you still want to do, do the deal? And you don't even know they hate you now because something was wrong in the contract and you didn't explain it to them. So <clears throat> I think that's all I got. I, I wanted to make this short. Um, so PDF and email, you don't send it until they answer the phone. You, you can review it while they're on the phone. <clears throat> you make any changes you need to. You ask them if they want to print it out and sign it or do a DocuSign. If they want to do a DocuSign, then you send them a DocuSign. And also, um, you sign it as well and make sure they get a copy of it. And then try to perform to the best of your abilities, guys. I'm not an attorney. I don't want to really get in too much deep into contracts. If you have any specific uh, questions, my Instagram is at Keith J. Tremel. Or just leave a comment down below.